Good morning, boys and girls and families. This is a video on how you are going to navigate getting into Google Classroom, which will be where all of our Google Meet links are. And for specialists, they post assignments that are in there and activities that can be done on days that you might not have actual live lessons. So let's get started. This is your class link page. And once you've turned on your new tablet and you have connected it to the internet and you are logged in using your quick card, this is the page you will get. So we are going to focus on just using the Google Apps file right up here. So let's click on that button. Now, once you're in Google Apps, we're really focusing only on two of the different apps. And honestly, we will basically be just using the Google Classroom. But if you need to go into Google Meet and you have a code, instead of being able to find the link, you could go in here, click on there, add the code and join a classroom. But let's get into our Google Classroom. So click on Google Classroom. Now, you, as a kindergartner only have four Google Classrooms. You will have one for art class, one for music, one for gym, and then you will have the joint class for Mrs. J's class and mine. I'm room three, she is room one. Or if you are a monster, you're in Mrs. J's class, or an owl, you are in my class. So these are the classrooms that you have, and you will use art, music, and gym on the days that we have those specialists. And for us, this is our classroom. We're going to use art as our example room for today. So click on art. Now all of your Google Classrooms look like this. This main page is what it is. It's the stream page. So you will have all the same things except for in this box where the picture is, you would see bitmojis for Mrs. Vodica for music and it will say music class. You will see Mr. LaRosa's bit emojis and it will say gym class. And for Mrs. J and I, it will say room one and two kindergarten and you'll see our bit emojis. So this page has three main sections. So the first one is the Google Meet section um, or the Google link, I should say, for our Google Meet. So Every time that you have a class and it's not in with us in the morning, starting that morning meeting, you come into that specialist, you click on this link and it will bring you right to Google Meet. At, a few slides later, we'll look at what Google Meet looks like. Down here is where new posts are. So if it's posted, it will automatically come to the top, the newest post. So you can scroll down and see lots of posts for some teachers and not a lot for others. In kindergarten, we're not really using Google Classroom, so you will not see too many things. And at the top is the most important. If there's assignments, you will click on classroom work or classwork, and that will take you to what you need to do. So let's click on classwork. So when you click, click on classwork, you will see all the things that were posted on the stream are here also, but it is specific. So like in gym, you see that Mr. LaRosa has a lot more activities posted, whereas Ms. Nordling only has this one post. We're going to continue with art just to see what, if you click in it, what happens. So click on that activity. And now when you open it up, it gives a description of the activity. It might have expectations or rules like Ms. Nordling has asked, please only do your 30 minutes of art on the days you have art. Otherwise you'll use up all the activities in her class. And she is on maternity leave. So she is not um, updating this, but her, her sub will be taking care of it. So when you click on this, it will take you to another link because she is embedded her Google um, or her Bitmoji classroom into it. Some of the other things will just be activities that you need to click on and uh, you, you might turn it in. So again, in kindergarten, we're not using this so much, but the specialist may be using it. So when you click on it, it will open it up. Now, 
the same page. I just blew or it, the other page was blown up. At the top of this page, this shows you two ways you can get into your Google Meet. So if you're in this page and you're looking, hmm, what do I need to do for art today before you get into art? In it, you look at the clock and it's, oh, it's time for art. You all you have to do is click on this meet button. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you go back to your, you click on stream and it'll take you to the main page and you will have that link right at the top. But we're going to use Meet today and show how easy it is. So click on Meet. Now see, it took you right to the Meet page. And this is something if you've been meeting with Mrs. J and I already, or maybe some of the other teachers, you've already seen. So you click on the Join button. Go ahead and do that. And you're, oh, sorry. When you click on the Join button, there's a couple things. So the first thing is if you are in here before the teacher gets in, you cannot actually get into the class. But as soon as that teacher logs in, then you will be admitted. So it's a safety precaution so that we know what's going on. You're being monitored by us as the teacher and nothing else is going on. So we do ask that you only come about two minutes early because that way the teachers can get logged in before all the kids start logging in. Now, once you get into Google Meet, we're going to go over some expectations when we're chatting. So let's talk about the rules. Now we had this slide in our open house presentation and we're going to go over it again because now everybody is going to be joining and we've added another rule due to just learning about what happens when we have meets and because you will be joining other teachers and specialists. So first button is please mute yourself or first rule is mute yourself. Please be on time. Turn your video on. If you don't feel comfortable with your video or your child doesn't feel comfortable with your video, talk to us and we will work something out. If you have questions, use the chat box. This is more so for parents if you have questions, otherwise you can always stay on at the end and we will try and um, meet with you. But when we're doing live lessons, we will not have that ability as much. So sending a quick chat would be a great idea because whoever is leading, if I'm leading, Mrs. J is monitoring the, ch the checking in, taking attendance, if there's any um, questions in the chat box and vice versa. Come prepared. This is something that's going to be important because we're going into live lessons. So we will be teaching you while we are live. It won't just be recorded. It will be recorded and posted later in the day. But the expectation is, is while we are live, you are doing the work with us. So if it's math class, make sure you have your math materials and we will still keep you prepared with a lesson plan. Next thing, Please raise your hand to speak or we always use nose goes. Put your finger on your nose and that way we know what's going on. And because there will be more kids than there have been, this is going to be really, really important along with your mute button. Please be respectful. If someone is talking, please don't interrupt them. We know you get excited and this is something we would be doing whether we were in class or not. Actually, all of these rules would be pretty close to what we would be learning in the classroom. And the last one, please be dressed. This is school, you are getting recorded, and your video is being played in other homes throughout all of kindergarten. So everybody has their video on. So please be, make sure you are dressed and appropriate and make sure you're in a place where there's not a lot of activity going on behind you. So that's not being picked up on the screen and it's not being a distraction to you. So now these are our main buttons we will use. So this one is your mute button. So when you log in, all of these buttons will look like this. So you will go down and this is at the bottom of your page. You will click on it to make it red. Do not touch the phone button until we say it, you can hang up. That is the hang up button. It will kick you out and then you'll have to log back in to get back in. But it will happen and it's okay, but 
that's the button. It's a don't use button until the end. The last button is your camera button. Again, this should look like this when you log in. If you click on this, we will not be able to see you. And if there is a problem and you don't like being on video, then that's something that we will discuss with your adult. But for the most part, you need to have your video on so that we can monitor what you are doing. The whole idea is we can see you just like you would be in our classroom. This is our classroom right now. So we need to see what you're doing. You need to be able to show us what work you're producing. If we're working on sounds, I need to see your face. I need to make sure you're making the right motions with your mouth to make the sounds correctly. If you're doing math, Mrs. J needs to see if you're counting your fingers correctly or your manipulatives, whatever we're doing. So we know this is a lot and we thank you all the adults, not just parents. There's lots of grandparents and other people helping out our students. And so if you have questions, please message us. Until then, we cannot wait to see you all during morning meeting and our live lessons. We'll talk to you later. Bye.